Greetings everyone. In this video on cost volume profit analysis, we're going to be specifically talking about margin of safety. So let's first define margin of safety. It's the excess of expected sales over break-even sales. So we could create an equation for this. If we take our sales minus our break-even sales, that would equal our margin of safety. So in other in another way we could put this, it's the amount of amount that our sales can drop before we begin to incur a loss. So how safe are we? So let's just jump right into an example of margin of safety. So Halfway Jobs Repair Shop has a monthly target operating income of twelve thousand dollars. Variable costs are 70% of sales, and monthly fixed costs are $9,000. The first thing we need to do is compute the monthly margin of safety in dollars if the shop achieves its income goal. So let's first start out with our equation. So we need sales, and we need break-even sales, and that will give us our margin of safety. So we need break-even sales dollars and we know that we can get that by taking our fixed cost which they tell me are nine thousand dollars divided by the contribution margin ratio now some of you may already know the contribution margin ratio just by reading the problem but we're going to work all the way through it to make sure everyone gets it here okay so let's create our contribution margin income statement which we know is sales minus variable cost is contribution margin, minus fixed cost is operating income. So the things they tell us is we want a target operating income of $12,000, and we have fixed cost of $9,000. Well, if we have Operating income of twelve thousand and fixed cost of nine thousand. Contribution margin must be twenty one thousand, because twenty one thousand minus nine thousand is twelve thousand. All right. So we also know our ratios. Remember those. Sales is always a hundred percent of itself. They tell us in the story that variable costs are seventy percent of sales, and if variable cost percentage is seventy percent, contribution margin must be. 30%. So if we know that contribution margin is 30% of sales, and sales right now is X, it's an unknown, so 30% of sales is equal to our contribution margin of 21,000, and I have to divide both sides by 0.3, then X is going to equal $70,000. Okay. So that's where we get that number. Now, we really don't need variable cost at this point, but we could easily get that um, if we needed it. Uh, so I'll just put it in there. So that's 49000 A couple ways we could do it is 70% of $70,000. It's also 70000 minus 21 gives us that forty nine. So 70000 minus 49000 equals contribution margin of $21,000. So now we have our contribution margin ratio, which we are going to take and move to here in our equation so that we can calculate our break-even in sales dollars now. So 9,000 divided by 30% is equal to a break-even in sales dollars of $30,000. So break-even sales is $30,000. And we have found our sales dollars of 70,000 right here. So 70,000 minus 30,000 gives me a margin of safety of $40,000. And that's how we would do a margin of safety problem. So part two, express Halfway's margin of safety as a percentage of target sales. Well, my margin of safety is $40,000, and as a percent of target sales, which we found to be 70,000, 
the percent comes out to be somewhere around 57.14%. So what we can see in this problem is that our sales could drop by $40,000 or about 57% before we begin to incur a loss.